Hi beaters, today we're gonna to learn the right way to do a stretchy bracelet. So I'm going to be using some Apollon stretchy cord fiber, best stuff on the market. And first I'm gonna cut a little piece of wire, inexpensive bead wire to make my own makeshift needle. You cut about nine inches, just fold it in half. You wanna make a nice seam right in the middle this is going to be your makeshift needle. Then you're going to take about 26 inches worth of stretchy cord. Seems kind of long, but we're going to be doubling it through the needle. So we'll just center this through. Bring both ends together. Draw the needle to the middle. So there's our needle with the stretch cord centered down through the middle. Then we're going to start stringing our beads for our stretchy bracelet. So we are going to be using some lava stones. So I'm just going to start stringing them. You want to pass it over both wires together into the bead hole and then just pull it through. You don't want to pull it all the way down to the end, so pull it around down to about the middle of the cord. Then, just like those old baking shows, I just happen to have one already completed. Let me bring it over here. So this is what they're going to look like when they're done. I'm going to have most of it with uh, the lava cord and then the suede glass beads. Here I have one done in purple with a little dog charm. And then I have one done in the green with a little tree. Here I have one done in pinks with a little lotus flower. So this one I'm going to be making with the lava stone with a little bit of green and the tree. So once you have your beads all strung, what you're going to do is you're going to remove the needle slide it right out. You'll have this little loop of cord at the end. What we're going to do is we're going to push the beads all the way down to the end, leaving a tiny little loop there. Then you're going to bring one of your two ends, pass it through the loop, find it and push it through. Then you're going to take both ends together, and you want to slide all the beads down. So that loop there just about disappears. So now we have a complete circle. With the two ends, you're going to do a couple little crisscross knots. So just crisscross and tuck one end under. Give it a nice little tug between the beads. Another crisscross knot. Tuck one end through, just like you're tying your shoes. Give it a nice little pull. So now we're gonna do a surgeon's knot. So a surgeon's knot's just like an overhand knot, except when you crisscross the two ends, you're gonna tuck it under and then tuck it under a second time. That's all there is to it. We're gonna pull that down between your beads. And then I'm just gonna finish off with just another little overhand knot. So now you, there's your knots between your beads. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive on there. I like to use Loctite. It's a super glue and it's gel, so it's not too runny. So I'm gonna remove the top. I'm gonna to spread the beads apart, put just a little dab of glue right on that knot. Because it's super glue, you have just a little bit of time just to pull that knot inside the bead hole. So that way it totally disappears. So we're gonna let that dry for about five minutes, and then I'm just gonna pull these back and trim them. So that is the best way to do a stretchy bracelet. Try it out, enjoy. We do sell the Apollon, so order it online, shopmidwestbeads.com. Thank you, bye.